Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the floor of my living room. I have a little shoe haul for you. Now, if you are into the razzle dazzle, I'm with you. I love a good sparkly shoe, but this is so not the haul for you then because this is incredibly basic. In fact, I showed a pair to my husband yesterday and he was like, isn't it a little bit uh, run of the mill? Yes, yes it is. That is exactly what I was looking for. So these are all from the same brand. They weren't purchased all at once. In fact, over the last few months, I've been buying them and even returning a couple that I, that I had ordered because they didn't work out for me. So I'm gonna share with you the ones that I did order and then maybe touch on the ones that didn't work out and why. So this is all from the brand Paul Green. I don't know if you're familiar with this brand, but frankly, I mean, it seems to have an intense cult following, but I don't see them everywhere. I, I don't see them in many department stores, but they all come in this box. And I believe that the brand started in 1988. It was started by a podiatrist. All of these brand, all of these brands, <laughs> all of these shoes are handcrafted in Austria. So I thought that was really cool. They're usually focused on leather and a synthetic sole for extra comfort. They are all about comfort and longevity. So all the things I wanted just because I felt like it was so hard to find a basic shoe. Like with my husband saying, eh, isn't it a little bit run of the mill? Well, it's surprisingly hard to find just a simple pair of shoes. You know, everything has all of the trends. It's so trend focused. And usually those things, they're made cheaply. They're not that comfortable. So, I mean, well, there are definitely some brands that do it well, and if you're really willing to splurge on a pair of trend shoes, they can be quite comfortable. I think Manolo's are wonderfully comfortable. Anyway, I'll just get into the haul now and stop rambling. So up first, we have this really simple pair of block-heeled sandals. This is exactly what I wanted. This is what my husband felt was, you know, a little bit boring, a little bit ordinary, but it's actually, it's so hard to find simple, beautifully made, comfortable sandals. This is a really nice, thick, new buck leather. That's what they use a lot um, with a synthetic insole. I'm sorry, no, this is still leather, um, but it has a synthetic rubber sole. So they're just really, really comfortable. Now, I like that it doesn't have a lot of buckles or you know anything like shiny on there that's going to draw your eye, because um, then like the focus can be on the rest of the outfit, if that makes sense. One thing that I was surprised by Velcro. I was not expecting Velcro, partly my fault because I didn't read the description box carefully enough, but I didn't realize that that was called a hook and loop um, closure. Yeah, I, I thought when it said hook and loop, I thought it was talking about this. That, that was just me not knowing proper terminology, but apparently that really does mean Velcro. Did you know that? I didn't know that. <sighs> now at first that turned me off, that really <laughs> I was like, mm, well, I'm not five years old. I don't know how I feel about having Velcro on my shoes, um, but I put them on and that thought completely left my mind. I loved them. They were so comfortable. You obviously get a really secure and comfortable fit because you can shape it to your ankle exactly the way you need it to. And when you're wearing them, you can't tell that it's Velcro. I love these. I immediately put them on and wore them out and they were just really comfortable. I have a lot of summer sandals. My husband was like, why are you ordering a pair? You have all these other shoes. But actually my goal with this, it was to get rid of those. I don't want them anymore. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. I need to see how good of a condition they're in. But honestly, they're so uncomfortable. They cut up my feet. They're impossible to walk in like for long distances. Uh, the more comfortable ones, sometimes they'll have very thick straps. And I wanted something that was not too thick, not too thin. So I really, I feel like this is everything I've been looking for. Up next, we have two pairs of loafers and I have had these for quite a while. I've worn them a number of times. I've, I've even posted pictures uh, wearing them on Instagram. I love these and they are absolutely boring. I get that. These look just like a pair that my grandma have and that's fine because my grandma's awesome. And why should we wait till we're 90 to be comfortable? Honestly, like they're very cute very comfortable. I feel like they go with all of the kind of things I'm wearing nowadays, which is like jeans, casual dresses, just running errands. I don't, don't need to be uncomfortable 
when I'm trying to do the grocery store run why, but I, I love these shoes. I'm a nine and a half in all of them, uh, just for reference, in my Manolos I'm like a 10 to 10 and a half. Paul Green is great if you have wider feet like me. In fact, I was reading through a lot of the reviews and people were talking about uh, just kind of like different foot, knee issues that they have and they find these so comfortable. People were talking about like ankle injuries and bunions and just like all those kind of things. And so it, apparently these shoes are really good for addressing those needs. And honestly, taking care of your feet, the shoes you wear, it's so important. Like you can cause nerve damage, back problems, all that stuff uh, that is, it just comes down to wearing the right shoes and why, why shouldn't we have you know, comfort and something cute. So I really love these. This black pair, it did give me a little bit of, um, it did give me some blisters right when I first started wearing them, but after two times, those were completely gone. They're very comfortable and molded to my foot and the way I walk. Now I purchased all of these at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. They are a pricier shoe, but as I said in one of my previous videos, I'm just not willing to spend Gucci money on loafers. In my experience, I haven't needed to. The Sam Edelman loafers have held up beautifully. They work really well. I can walk miles in them and the sole is still perfect. They're holding up really well. I just don't love the Gucci loafers on me. That's just my personal preference. So I didn't want to spend that much money on these, but it's by no means a cheap brand. I think the quality is there to back up the price. Um, if you buy them at Nordstrom, you're looking at spending anywhere from 200 to 350. However, Nordstrom Rack is a great place for different styles and they have a ton of different sizes, especially if you're looking at loafers. They have loads of loafers. In fact, I'm very tempted to get some more. <laughs> I'm going to restrain myself, but they have so many different sizes and then you can really get them under $200. In fact, one of the loafers I got was only 79 because I was able to get an extra 20 for 25% off at the Clear the Rack event. Highly recommend checking that out if you want to save some money. If you're worried about different styles running out, then you can put like, you know, you how you can accumulate points at Nordstrom. You can always put it towards that purchase. But I feel really good about these. I feel like they're going to hold up and I'd, I'd rather put a little extra money towards shoes that are going to last you know, I know that my white t-shirts aren't going to last forever, so there's only so much money I'm willing to spend on those. I have had to return a few pairs. I'll try to insert some pictures, but ultimately I just didn't feel like they added anything to my wardrobe. They, for example, they were chunkier sandals and I have my Birkenstocks. I did get them full price, so they were, I mean, they're very pricey if they're not adding anything and I'm trying to be really good in that department because I do have a lot of shoes, I know that. So I only want to get them if I'm absolutely certain, if there is a twinge of doubt, I'm just making myself take them back. And there was that nagging feeling at the back of my mind, like, are you going to really reach for these? Are these doing any things that the Birkenstocks aren't doing? So I was very happy with that. However, I mean, they would probably work out well for someone else, especially if they have any of like the foot problems that is like are mentioned on their site that they cater to, or if you have a wider foot and you have trouble finding comfortable sandals, these were very, very nice. Thank you so much for watching today's video and joining me for this little haul. I love these shoes. I cannot wait to start wearing them. I think these look really nice with my Fendi bag. In fact, I think all of these look really nice with my Fendi bag. They fit into my wardrobe seamlessly. They are not as sexy as the Manolos. They're not as cool and this video is not going to get as many views and that is totally cool, but I do think more people should appreciate a well-made shoe rather than just chasing the trends and chucking them out the next year when they wear out. So that is something that I would like to draw attention to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll try to leave as many links down below as I can find, but I'll talk to you next time. Bye!